Hello, treasure hunters all over the world. The Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. How are you today, guys? Shout out to the people of Bohol in Negros, in Leyte, also in Cebu, the Queen City of the South, Zamboanga, Davao, and Surigao, Surigao del Sur, and Surigao del Norte. Now let's talk about different uh, treasure. This one is a historical treasure from the very well-known pirate of the 16th century. We're talking about Lin Feng, or better known as Li Ma Hong in Philippine literature. Okay guys, if I'll ask 10 persons about Li Ma Hong or Lin Feng, only one knows or only one heard about the name Lin Feng, the pirate, Li Ma Hong, the pirate, the pirate who raided Manila in 18, make that in 1574. Lots of negative story about Li Ma Hong or Lin Feng. And now I will tell the story in another perspective, another way of presenting it. Li Ma Hong, aka Lin Feng in China dreaded pirates in the South China Sea with uh, shiploads of looted jewelries, gold, gold bars, silver and gold coins loaded in his 50 ships and 5,000 men with him, strong army, all the way from China going to the Philippines in 1573 the sail from china going to the north of the philippines in luzon specifically in the place called the agno bay or the agno river now known as the lingayen in pangasinan at tagalog tayo guys at kung i-close up natin yung agno bay ay magikita natin ngayon na mayroong parola at papasok siya sa description ng Taiwan researcher ang kampo ni Li Mahong or Lin Feng ay 4 kilometers away from the mouth of the Agno Bay so people of Pangasinan Lingayin you watch out for the buried long time treasure of pirates there is half of the loot, looted treasures, jewelries, gold, antiques, lots of 16th century treasures, pirates, treasure right in your backyard, buried for a long time, 500 years ago, 16th century. Imagine pirates, treasures, treasure box in your backyard. How you like that? At napakaswerte talaga nating mga Filipinos kasi nakatayo tayo on top of the ground na sa ilalim niyan ay napakaraming yaman. Imagine uh, from the 16th century Spanish pirates gold at dumating yung yung mga Hapones 1940s at meron na namang binaon at wala pa dyan yung natural gold, natural minerals na nasa lupain natin. Na kaya, napakayaman ng Pilipinas. Ang kailangan lang ay meron tayong good eyes or matang mapagmasid ng mga signs or even third eye na makakita ng kakaiba na related sa mga symbols of treasures common sense kung makakita tayo ng kakaiba i-analyze kaagad natin basta underground 500 years ago ang gold ay hindi yan matarnish never corrode ang gold ay palaging 99.99% gold at hindi yan madiminish tarnish hindi yan corrode hindi yan katulad ng ng bronze o silver ang silver ay mag corrode kaya kung may pirate treasure at mga gold yon tulad nito Mexican gold coins ganyan pa rin ang appearance niya even 500 years ago or 600 years ago 
gold pa rin siya at walang nabawas sa kanya. Kaya, people of Pangasinan and people of Agnaw and also people at the Batanis Island, the Babuyan Islands and on the small islands right near Taiwan what's out for my videos mamaya at ipakita ko kung saan possibly you can treasure hunt or you can find the lost Limahong pirates treasures and before I forgot I'd like to ask who is the name of the princess the native princess where Limahong or Lin Fuying get married and that princess helped Limahong to escape by dugging out a channel from the river of Agno uh, going out away from uh, the eyes of the Spanish that's why he escaped and safely he arrived to Taiwan because of that princess that helped him escape and they spent six months of dugging out the channel by uh, their raw hands and brute forces of Limahong's men and Princess Kabon Tatala's people right in the Agno. A trivia muna tayo guys. Alam nyo ba na si President uh, Ferdinand Marcos ay isang descendant ni Limahong or Lin Feng, the famous, make that infamous pirate of the 16th century, the king of the pirates in the South China Sea. Well, siguro yung si Princess Kabon Tatala ay yun ang lula ng lula ng lula at ng lula pa ni Ferdinand Marcos. Kaya pala maganda ang buhay nila Marcos noon at hanggang ngayon kasi descendant siya ng isang successful pirate in the 16th century kung saan halos hinakot ni Limahong ang lahat ng yaman doon sa South China Sea na mga provinces at dinala dito sa Pilipinas at kalahati ay iniwan sa kanyang Princess Kabon Tatala at kalahati naman ay dinala, dinala doon sa Taiwan para magumpisa ng negosyo at after two years in Taiwan ay bumalik siya sa Macau na isa ng matanda at successful na tao at doon na siya namatay kaya yun ang ending ni Limahong hindi siya namatay sa labanan between the Spaniards and Lacandola si Limahong ay naka-escape papuntang Taiwan at doon niya inispend yung kalahati ng yaman niya pero later on there is a conspiracy theory na ang kanyang mga yaman ay nandyan lang sa mga isla malapit sa Batanis Island, Baboyan Island mga isla na malapit in between Taiwan and Northern Luzon Kaya mga ka th ka treasure hunter all over the Philippines uh, don't worry we have a lot of golds to share merong pre-colonial gold yung gold na natagpuan doon sa Agusan River sa tinaguri ang Lost Kingdom in the Mindanao that's somewhere in Butuan the place called Masao at well ito na yung pag escape ni Limahong uh, galing siya sa Lingayen sa kanyang ginawang Limahong Channel at dumaan siya dito sa may Babuyan Island sa Itbayat yung pinakamalapit na island ay pinatawag na Itbayat malapit na siya sa Taiwan at after a week dito sa isla siguradong meron silang iniwan dito ng mga kayamanan or treasure chest kasi pirata yan mahilig ang pirata mag-iwan ng mga treasure sa mga mumunting isla na karamihan ay may hugis yung nilalagyan nila ng mga isla ay minsan hugis skull minsan ay hugis pagong 
At karamihan ng mga treasure chest or treasure na iniwan nila ay nakalagay yan sa tinatawag na treasure box or treasure chest na kung saan makikita natin sa mga movies tulad ng The Caribbean Pirates meron doon mga treasure chest at kung, at kung magbaon sila hindi ganong malalim hindi gaya ng yamas ita treasure na napakalalim ang pagbaon ng kayamanan ang mga pirata mababaw lang hanggang 2 meters lang ang kanilang pagbaon sa treasure at minsan nilalagay lang sa loob ng mga kuweba And most of the treasure found in the Philippines are not by treasure hunter but of an ordinary man. It is found accidentally in the hills, in the rivers, in the caves. Kaya sa pangalan ng mga descendants ni Limahong or Lin Feng, mga taga Pangasinan, Lingayen, Batangas, sa Ilocos, diyan maraming descendants ni Limahong. Ako'y magpaalam na sa inyo at sana naibigan yung aking palabas ngayon. And don't stop chasing for your dreams. Stay home, stay out of COVID, be safe, God bless, and ciao for now.